One other trade that happened yesterday, the Falcons lost Grady Jarrett for the year with the torn yeah. ACL. They picked up Kentavious Street from the Eagles, but it was one of those Street plus a seventh-round pick to the Falcons for a sixth-round pick. So it really wasn't the kind of high-level mover and shaker trade that we're keeping an eye on. And we are keeping our eyes open for trades that may happen between now and 4 o'clock East. And we're going to talk about the Vikings quarterback situation Kevin O'Connell made it clear yesterday they're exploring all options, which would include until 4 o'clock today trades. Who, who are you watching? You know, Derrick Henry has been the subject, Chris, of a lot of discussion. His contract wasn't reconfigured yesterday. That was the deadline for kind of moving things around to make it easier to trade him. He could still be traded with his current contract, so that doesn't end it. But is there someone out there, a team that you're either watching or hoping, waiting to see whether or not they get involved, either as sellers or buyers? Well, I I, I get the the sense. I don't know what you think, but it, 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 it I don't expect this to be a big trade day. I don't. I, I feel like it's, you know, kind of quiet on all fronts here. Now, I'm sure there's some things that will go down. But I, I don't know. I have the feeling this year that we're not going to see anything major. I mean, they went to, hey, I think all you got to do is Adam Schefter is one of the insiders of insiders. They went to him twice last week and last night. And right. He had no like, hey, I'm hearing this or hearing that. He kind of just stated the obvious because I think things are quiet for a lot of football teams right now. I don't really look at any of the top teams. To go, oh, they got to do something, anything there. You know, the 49ers, I've brought up, hey, maybe a DB, an extra cover corner, you know, instead of playing so much zone. That was one thing that jumped out to me. We've hit, you know, the Kansas City wide receiver thing, the Buffalo wide receiver thing there a little bit. I don't think the Titans are going to trade Derrick Henry. I don't expect that to happen. So I don't know if there's one or anything out there in Rumorville NFL that I look at and go, ooh, I think this might happen. I, I, I feel like it's going to be kind of a blah trade deadline day here. You're right about the 49ers looking for help at defensive back. A couple of teams doing that. A lot of teams looking for pass rush help. The Jaguars, I was told over the weekend, were calling everyone in search of potential pass rush help. Now, this is just part of the due diligence that everyone should be doing. Every team should be calling every other team to see who's available, who they might want. Just you're putting – fishing lines out in the water all around the boat because you never know where you're going to get a nibble and you're not hurting yourself from a leverage standpoint and making that call because you're keeping it very general it's like going into a store i'm just browsing what do you have what's on your shelf just curious i'm just curious might ask you for the price at some point might just keep on walking the falcons i was told over the weekend had offered a third round pick for montez, montez sweat, sweat right the commander's yeah. right pass rusher who who may be traded. And I haven't listened to this, but I guess Chase Young's dad called 106.7 the fan in Washington yesterday and had some interesting things to say. But Young is a guy that could be traded as well. Teams have called about Jonathan Allen with the commanders after he had a rant last week following their their loss uh, that day. I can't remember who beat them, but whoever it was, it was enough to get him to go off. The Giants. So, uh, yeah, so that's, yeah, I, would, I guess that would given the way the Giants are playing this year. I can understand it. Um, Derek Henry still is a name to watch. I think, I just think it comes down to whether or not somebody is willing to make an all in move. Yeah. By now, you know what a team like the Ravens would be willing to do, but that's the thing about deadlines. You don't move to your absolute best position until the clock is in the process of sounding out 12 chimes We're we're here we go. We got to do it. Now, now, okay, so what are you going to do? And then you have to make your decision. Or maybe you're holding back the decision you made. You're just going through the motions, and you know you're going to move to a higher position as you get to that point where you have to do it. And I was just thinking, remember when – who was the quarterback that – it was A.J. McCarron. The Browns were trying to trade for A.J. McCarron on deadline day, and there was some screw-up. The Bengals sent in the information to the league, but the Browns didn't. I think so. I think and you might that be meant right. the trade didn't yeah. happen. Yeah. And it was this question of whether Sashi Brown, who was running the, the front office at the time, Hugh Jackson, was it deliberate? Was it sabotage? Whatever. So remember, for a trade to be effective today by 4 o'clock Eastern, both teams have to communicate it to the league independently. If only one does it, no trade is done. So we'll see. And you got to figure out how much time do we really need? You know, if you cut it right until 3.59 p.m. Eastern, 
something may go haywire. So I'd like to think if these deals are going to happen, 2 o'clock, 3 at the latest is when we'll know if a deal is going to go through, Chris. Yeah, I, I, I think you're right. I think the names you said are the names that are, you know, the ones to look for. I would think one of those Washington DNs gets moved. You know, it, it it's going to be hard to to pay four guys on the on that D line all really damn good to pay them all big time market value. I, I I would think that that there's some serious talks there, whether it's Chase Young or Montez Sweat, whatever way the Commanders want to go in that one. Same thing with Daniil Hunter. You know, I know the Vikings are still in it, but you know you're not still in it. Uh, it's a tough decision. The more I thought about yesterday and after the Kirk Cousins things, I'd go. I, I think I'd I'd fire sale it. I would. You know, if they're if we're willing to get a pretty good offer for Daniil Hunter or something like that, I'd kind of move on and start playing for next year. You're not going to find a quarterback that's going to come in and save the day. It's not going to happen. It's just not. I just you know your defense oh, yeah. is not good yeah. enough. They don't run the ball well enough. It's too much on the quarterback there in Minnesota, and now they don't have them. So I, I think you kind of hit on the big names there. I don't know if there's anybody else that really jumps out to me. It's an odd year because some of the bad teams also had their pieces. I think they're going wait. They're young. We want to keep them. We're kind of building something. We're not looking to trade some of these guys. So I think that makes it you know, a little bit different that in, in that way too. And then in the AFC, like just about everybody is still alive for the most part. So teams like Tennessee are probably hemming and hawing a little bit like, hey, we might still have a chance. And they're probably trying to kind of figure out which way they want to play this thing. I got one to add. Yeah. Josh Uche, the pass rusher mm. with New England. Mm. Last year of his contract, those are the guys to watch in New England. Last year of the contract because the question becomes – do we trade and get value now? Do we let them walk as free agents and maybe get some compensatory draft pick consideration? And if they plan on spending a lot of money in free agency in 24, it won't matter anyway. You won't get any compensatory draft picks. Uche's a name to watch. He's a he's special We know player. they don't yeah. like to pay a ton of money to pass rushers. Right. They historically don't. Now's the time to move him. And they are the team that is 16th of 16 in the AFC. They are two and six looking up at everyone, including the Raiders. So if they're ever going to sell, now is the time to sell, especially guys that aren't going to be there next year. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.